Hi, Steve here. I'd just like to show you our betting blender spreadsheet and also the cloud version. Now what it is, uh, is basically it's like on our balance staking you can see there, that is normal dutching. So we're looking at two horses there and if we have a look at them we can see alpha, uh, horse one and horse two. You can see here in the profit amounts that they're all very similar and you can see here they're, they're Return on investment is very close together, equal, 1%, uh, 1% different. That is, if you were going to do um, a Dutch on two horses, this is the staking that you would need to get these sort of returns. And we have a spend return, so if we were looking, for example, we've got target up here and we put in $30 or £30, and it works differently on each one. So in the spend section, we're going to be spending £30 you can see there in the Dutch version we're going to get $26 um, dollars or pounds back on 27 if horse 2 wins. The next one is the return. So what we're doing when we put three, uh, 30 up here is we want the profit um, of the combined profit to be 30 and uh, that's what it spends. And you can see there we're actually only spending $15 to get that 30 return. Now that return is not profit, that's return and then we take out the losing stake and uh, and then we bank that. But then we have profit and in this case here you can see there we want to get $30 profit uh, regardless of which horse wins. Alpha 2 or Space Boy and you can see there we're going to get $29.99 and 30.02. So that is the three settings we have spend return and profit so the balance staking is your normal dutching where the magic in that comes in with bet blender is here the blended staking now we all know hedging and that and uh, and how to work hedging but this one here is like a hedge but it's a blend that's a lot easier to uh, manipulate and get exactly how much you want to spend how much you want to get in return by just moving the slider along so for at, at the moment, as you will see here, the slider is at 50-50. So these figures here are going to mirror exactly what's on the balance staking. But for, us, for this example, we may say that in horse 1, which is alpha 2, we think that that has got the stronger uh, chance of winning. So what we need to do is if we go along the slider here, and so we click on 20 here, so 80, we're saying 80% of our investment or return we want to be on horse number one. And you can see 20 is over horse number two. So in this example here, we want our money, the most of our money and the profit in that to be on alpha two. So in our spend, our spend is up here of 30, $30 or 30 pounds. So we're spending 22, 21, 20 on alpha two and only eight pound eighty or eight dollars eighty on Space Boy. You can see there on those returns if Space Boy wins we're actually going to lose eleven cents or pence. But should Alpha two win we're going to be making sixty dollars ninety five. You can see here so we're going to get two hundred and three percent return on our money if Alpha two wins and we're just virtually just breaking even if Space Boy wins. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to uh, have all the money on one horse and only and lose if the other horse wins? This way, we are still we are actually having an insurance bet. So instead of putting thirty pounds or dollars, let's just say dollars, thirty dollars on Alpha Two, and making more money, if Alpha Two should lose, we are going to lose thirty dollars. However, in this case here. We could still lose $30, but we have two horses running for us. And if Space Boy does get up and win, then we've salvaged our stake back. We've got 29 89 back. So we've only lost the 11 cents or pence. And of course, if we're using uh, bookies, we could change, change the commission to zero. And you can see there, if we were doing it on a bookies or TAB, uh, we would actually make money even if Space Boy won. And then on the return, what are we doing on the return? Well, we're saying we want 30, 30 up here, a target of 30 return. Well, you can see here on the return column, if Alpha Boy wins, we'll get 34 back. But then 
we've got to consider if Space Boy wins, we'll lose two dollars three. So not much of a difference. So we're only outlaying fifteen dollars here with a chance of if our main horse gets up of winning thirty four. But if our our second horse comes up, we'll lose two dollars instead of the whole fifteen. 14 here. And then in profit, in the profit division, we are looking at profit. So in this case here, Alpha 2 wins, we'll get 48 profit. And if Space Boy wins, we'll get 12 profit. So you can see there, even with a split of 80-20, uh, Space Boy is still going to give us some money. And of course, our main bet is going to do a lot better for us. So that is how you work with the blended amounts and you can come up and pick on just you can see what the return is here that you are happy with and then you can invest this is the stake money here that you must invest on the horse dog or you may be betting in the correct score you may want to do nil 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 and one nil and you can um, put the odds in up here you put the odds in of what you want and then you can mix this up and get a save a bet maybe on the score that you don't think will happen and most profit on the score that you do think. Also one thing I forgot to mention is in here, this is the box here where you change the prices and you change the odds. So it, you can make changes very quickly. Say for example we had the settings like this and all of a sudden Alpha Boy came into $4.00 then we can see straight away how it's going to change the odds for us. So you've got the ability straight away to react to odds changes and what percentages you may want to change now because of how quickly uh, the odds can change. So you've got that ability to change the odds and straight away see what the staking is. So you can react very quickly to this. will happen. So that is how Blender works. This is the spreadsheet version and I'll quickly show you the cloud version. Here we have the cloud version and if I just go to resume okay you can see exactly what we saw on the Excel version. You've got your slider along here so you can just slide it along and we can get our same percentages etc that we got before and we've got our just move that up a bit we've still got all our workings and our staking exactly as we did have in the spreadsheet version just with the cloud version obviously you can use it on your iPad your tablet your phone yeah wherever you've got internet you will be able to access the cloud version whereas if you get the spreadsheet it's only available obviously on the spreadsheet on your wherever you've got the spreadsheet housed so that is bet blender it's a great way if you've got horses that um, you've got uh, nice horses that you think are in the money but you need to obviously um, look out for the favorite or second favorite then this is an ideal thing for doing that and as I said even in correct score you can uh, mix and blend some of the correct scores using this blending software. So, so just before I go, you've got different, you've got three different blending tabs down here, so you can do different, um, have different ones going at any one time. You may have set blends that you want, so you can, uh, so you only just need to come over here and change the name and the prices, and you've got the percentage already blended for you. It's very easy, very quick, and you'll find it very helpful when you want to start looking at bidding on more than one horse, dog, or sports event. So on behalf of Michael and myself, Steve, thanks for watching Blender, and I hope that you get excited what you see there. Thank you.